Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Every cat guardian knows that cats are mysterious animals with sometimes equally mysterious motives. You may find yourself wondering whether or not your cat feels guilty or remorseful after they do something that upsets you. Further, you may wonder if the extra attention your cat gives you afterwards is an apology or just attention seeking. As it turns out, cats do apologize to their humans, sort of. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to the channel for more cat videos. Now let's discuss why and how cats apologize to their humans, along with six common examples. Do cats apologize? Cats don't have a sense of right and wrong like people do, and they don't feel emotions like guilt or shame. So when your cat does something to upset you, they don't necessarily feel bad in the way that humans would. But this doesn't mean that your cat doesn't acknowledge that you are upset and take steps to apologize. They just do it for different reasons than humans do. Cats are excellent at reading vocal tones, facial expressions, and body language. Your cat knows when you are upset, and they are great at gauging reactions. If your cat does something and you react negatively, your cat is likely to remember your reaction and base its future actions on that. So if your cat does something that upsets you, your cat will take note of your reaction. Your cat may even apologize, but it isn't with the same intention as humans. Researchers have spent a lot of time trying to figure out what emotions cats feel, and it turns out to be quite a difficult task. While it is easy to apply human emotions and human logic to a cat's behavior, it doesn't always align. There has been a lot more research dedicated to understanding canine emotions than feline emotions, but researchers suspect there is some crossover. Researchers from VCA Animal Hospitals concluded that dogs act guilty after doing something wrong, but they don't necessarily feel guilty. Their response is a direct reaction to their owner's negative response rather than feeling ashamed of their actions. It is thought that the same logic applies to cats. When your cat scratches up your furniture and you react negatively, your cat may appear guilty and even try to apologize. However, your cat does not feel guilty for their actions, rather they are responding to your reaction. Though these findings may remove some of the sentimentality from your cat's apology, it does suggest that your cat values your feelings. Why do cats apologize? So if cats don't feel emotions like guilt and remorse, why do they apologize? The answer seems to lie in the role social structures play in a cat's life. While cats are known for being solitary animals, they are quite social. Social interaction is very important to cats, and they are quite adept at navigating social situations. In an interview with National Geographic, the University of Bristol's cat behavior expert John Bradshaw revealed how cats situate humans into their social structures. In some ways, they treat humans just like other cats. Therefore, human reactions and behaviors are very important to cats in configuring the social hierarchy of their world. When you get upset or react negatively to something that your cat does, they take note. One of the most important aspects of a cat's social life is maintaining order, and they tend not to like changes in their social relations. Therefore, it becomes important for your cat to learn and adapt to your behaviors. If you react negatively to something your cat does, they will apologize and are far less likely to repeat that behavior in the future. However, it is important to note that your negative reactions have a big impact on your cat, so it is important to be mindful before reacting. If you shout and punish your cat for negative behaviors, your cat is likely to associate you with fear and aggression. Rather than seeking to appease you, your cat may avoid you altogether. That's why it is best to encourage positive behaviors and divert negative behaviors rather than punishing them. Just like your cat can recognize when you react negatively, they can also recognize when you react positively. Most cats will learn to repeat behaviors that get positive reactions to maintain the social order of the house. So it seems that cats apologize not necessarily because they feel bad, but because they want to keep the social structure stable and orderly. Your cat treats you like another cat in many ways, and cats tend to order themselves into hierarchical structures. To maintain this hierarchy, your cat will likely apologize if you react negatively to one of their behaviors. How do cats apologize? A cat apology looks very different from a human apology, and there are a variety of different behaviors a cat may exhibit in an attempt to apologize. Your cat may perform all of these behaviors, just one or maybe none, but here are six common ways that cats apologize to their humans. Number one, your cat will give you space. As we've discussed, research has shown that your cat treats you like another cat. Therefore, your cat is likely to apologize to you in the same way that they would want to be apologized to. Cats value and appreciate space, and most cats want to be by themselves when they are upset. As such, your cat will likely give you space when you're upset. You may notice your cat lingering nearby, but not directly interacting with you after they have upset you. This may be an apologetic effort. However, it is important to note that this behavior can also indicate fear. 
If you punish your cat for their negative behavior, they are likely to hide from you. There is a big difference between hiding from you and just giving you space. Make sure never to punish your cat for negative behaviors as it will lead to a rift in your relationship. You can tell if your cat feels safe and secure if they start voluntarily creeping towards you after some time. Number two, your cat will stare at you. This behavior often goes hand in hand with giving you space. After your cat has noticed you are upset, they may stare at you from across the room. This is likely a way for your cat to figure out how you are feeling. Your cat will stare at you in an attempt to read your facial expressions and your body language to determine if you are still upset. You may even notice your cat slowly blinking at you from a distance, which is a way for your cat to communicate affection. In this case, it is a way for your cat to say that they are sorry. In this line of cat-human communication, you can respond to your cat's apology. Research conducted by animal behavioral scientists at the University of Sussex concluded that cats respond positively to being slow blinked at. If your cat is slowly blinking at you to apologize, you can slowly blink back to let them know that they are forgiven. This is an excellent way of strengthening your bond and ensuring that your cat knows that even though you are upset with them, you still love and care for them. You can even initiate the slow blinking if you notice your cat is lingering across the room from you after they did something they shouldn't have. By slowly blinking, you will let your cat know that it is okay and that you appreciate their apology. Number three, your cat may avoid eye contact. While some cats will stare at you directly after making a mistake, other cats will avoid eye contact. In cat relationships, staring can sometimes be indicative of a threat or a challenge. It can be a display of dominance. Stare downs are how cats in the wild assert their dominance over each other and create a social hierarchy. Sometimes these stare downs can lead to physical confrontations and aggression. So if your cat is apologizing, they may avoid eye contact with you as a display of submission and apology. This can be a way for your cat to let you know that they respect your authority. Number four, your cat will initiate physical contact. Sometimes your cat will initiate physical contact with you to apologize. This most often is through headbutting or rubbing, two of the most common ways that cats express affection. Both of these behaviors spread your cat's scent or pheromones onto you as a way of marking you as part of your cat's group. Smell is very important to cats, as they use it to understand and decipher the world around them. By marking you with their scent, your cat reminds themselves that you are a safe presence. Plus, headbutting and rubbing are also affectionate gestures that show you that your cat cares about you. Your cat is apologizing to you through these behaviors by both reminding you and them that you are family. Your cat may also cuddle with you or request pets. These are signs of contentment, and they show that your cat trusts you and wants you to feel better. Number five, your cat will purr or meow softly. Alongside physical behaviors, your cat can also communicate an apology to you verbally. This is most often observed through purring or soft meows. Purring both relays your cat's contentment and establishes a trusting relationship. If your cat starts purring near or on you after they have done something to upset you, they are likely trying to restore the peace. Especially if your cat is sitting on your lap and purring or initiating physical contact while purring, they are likely trying to show you affection and approval. The same is also the case with soft meows. Your cat may meow softly as an invitation to cuddle or as a peaceful gesture. Often, this is a cat's way of apologizing or showing affection. As any cat guardian will know, there are lots of different variations of meows with different meanings. Meows that are particularly high or low in pitch and high in volume may indicate that your cat is frightened or angry. These meows are not usually affectionate or apologetic. Rather, an apologetic or loving meow will likely have a mewling sound or be soft in tone. Number six, your cat will bring you toys and initiate playtime. If you have a more playful cat, they may try to apologize to you by initiating playtime. Cats will commonly bring toys over to their guardians in an attempt to get you to play with them. Playtime is an important part of every cat-human relationship, as it is time for bonding and trust building. Your cat recognizes how important playtime is and that it is an enjoyable experience for both of you. Therefore, to apologize, your cat may try to get you to play. Playing with your cat is a great way to show your cat affection and let them know that their apology is accepted. Plus, it diffuses all tension and shows your cat that you are no longer upset with them. Cats can sometimes be difficult to read, and many cat guardians find themselves wondering if their cat feels the same emotions as they do. After they have done something wrong, many cats will act apologetically. While this may give the appearance of guilt or remorse, it is more likely that your cat is just trying to restore order in the house. However, just because cats don't have the same intentions as humans when apologizing doesn't mean their apologies have to be worth anything less. Next time your cat is performing one of the apologetic behaviors in this video, you could smile at the importance you know your cat gives you. Now it's time for Cat of the Week. 
This video's cat of the week is Sherlock. His guardian says, Sherlock is a sharp, handsome cat who loves to be in the middle of the action. We adopted him from a stray litter of kittens with his brother, whose name is most appropriately Watson. He will often sit on, or in or under books, laundry, and new interesting objects. Remarkably, like his name implies, he is a great investigator. Congratulations, Sherlock. Keep being possum. To enter your cat for a chance to be featured, visit the entry link in the description box below. So, has your cat ever apologized to you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Catter Day for another video.